Hello everyone. Today I want to do a quick video tutorial on how to create a, a level that's a mod for miscreated. In other words, if you create a custom level inside of the miscreated editor, how do you actually use that as a mod? So I'll be going through the basic steps of that today. It's a pretty simple process. It should only take a couple minutes. So here I have a level and mine just called empty real is uh, the, the name of it. And uh, to export it, you would just come up here and just do export to engine. And that sets up the files that we're going to use. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to just quickly talk about AI. If you want to have AI in your level and you want them to be able to move around and uh, navigate, essentially, what you need to do is create uh, shapes, essentially, on the map that says this is where AI can be moving around within. And the way you do that is you create a custom shape, and it has to start with this text. It has to start with lower, lowercase kyt nav bounds. And then anything after that, you can put one, two, or a name, or whatever you want after it. Uh, so you just create these around anywhere you want AI in your map to be. And uh, set the height, because they can only navigate up to the height. If you have mountains, you need to take that into account with the height and everything. And then to actually generate the navigation mesh for the AI, you would come into the console. You type KYT underscore generate. And that would generate it. And based on the size of your map, uh, it could take several minutes uh, for our islands map. It takes like you know 20, 25 minutes to generate because it's such a huge map. So that generates the navigation mesh, and then when it's done, there'll be a message that's displayed, and then you do kyt underscore save tiles, and that saves them out to a file. And I'll show you that in just a second here. So those are the two commands you need. You need to generate uh, the navigation mesh, and then you need to save it. All right. So in your editor, you would go up and you do export engine. And when you do the export engine, this is the levels folder. I didn't do it because I've already done it in the past. Uh, and what that does is it creates two files. It creates the level pack file and the train texture pack file. So those are the two pack files we'll need. And then this is the navigation mesh for your AI. Uh, so if you generate it and save to tiles, this file will exist and it will be updated as well. All right, so to use the level, this is my mod, and if you view, uh, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with the lunchbox mod, I'd recommend you go watch the lunchbox video tutorial. Uh, but essentially, uh, it's all set up the same way. So I'm gonna go into my source folder, game SDK, levels. So any level has to be in a level subfolder. And then what you want to do is you need to copy in a few files. You need the empty underscore real .xml file. This has to match your level name this folder name. So if yours is called woodlands, uh, your level name is woodlands, and then this has to be called woodlands.xml to match. You need the file list.xml file and the navigation mesh if you have one. So I'm going to copy those in. And then what you want to do is open up the your XML file. And inside of it, uh, a lot of this isn't used. A lot of this is kind of left over from the Crytek days, you know, the original SDK days. The critical thing in here is you want to make sure that the game rules is set to miscreated. Uh, this allows you to do custom game rules based on your level, but right now the only game rule that works is one that's called miscreated. Uh, so make sure that has to be miscreated in here. So I'm going to go ahead and save that now. If not, the, the level, it may look like it's loading in the server, but it's going to hang and not work right. All right, and then what you also want to do is the terrain texture.pack. You want to open this in something like 7-zip, and you want to copy all the contents of that into the your mod folder, and then the same with your level.pack file. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up, select everything inside of it, and drag that in as well. The reason we have to do this is in CryEngine, you can't have a pack file inside of another pack file. So if I were just to take this pack file and copy it in here, it will not work. Um, I'm going to cancel that, but it won't work because we're going to have to uh, make a pack file out of everything in our source folder, as I showed in the Lunchbox video. Uh, and so if you drop a pack file in here, it won't work. It can't open it. So we have to basically you know, extract all the files from the pack and just drop them all in here manually. All right, so that's everything we need. 
And then you just follow the same thing you did in the lunchbox folder, uh, the lunchbox video, excuse me. So you'd come in here, you'd, you'd uh, yeah, add it to your, your pack. So let's just call this level dot pack, for example. Yes. And then I would take this and cut and paste it into my packs into here. And then if you're using my same scripts, you would just use the mod create. It creates the script and uploads. It creates the mod and uploads it to Steam for you. But that's all the steps that's involved. It's a pretty simple process. Also, once you've created your mod and you've uploaded it to Steam and you're ready to actually use it on your server, what you'll need to do is uh, tell the server to load the map. And the way you would do that is the actual name of your level. So in my case, underscore empty rill. What you need to do to your command line on your server is add the plus map command. Right now, it's, it should be plus map islands. Instead, you want to change that to plus map. And in my case, it would be underscore empty rill. So when the server starts up, it's, it'll go out, download the mods, and then it'll say, OK, now I want to load the underscore empty rill level.